So as a world champion, as a heavyweight, as a dominant heavyweight, you defeated George Foreman. That's like a that's like a crazy fight, right? That's a yeah, crazy George. name. Okay. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know you beat George Foreman. Yeah, be, but go ahead, keep, keep, continue on. He, he would have killed George. He, he did die. But go ahead. No, he <laughs> killed George. George would have killed no, him. That's what I said. Yeah, George. Would've George. Killed. Oh, George would have killed him. Yeah, easy work. Go but on. hey, but how old was George when you found him? Like sixty-two? Nah, about forty-eight. I think maybe, maybe, yeah. He had been fighting for like 30 years at that time? He had been fighting a long time. Was that his? Was he, that? Took, he, took, he took some time off like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and he came, came back. back. And, and, and then what, where did you beat him in the first round? Not the decision. Very close, tough fight. Yeah. Was it still tough at that age for him? Oh, for him? Yeah, for him, was hell. That's what I'm saying. You were 25 years old, and you, right. he took you to decision. Yeah, man, for real. What, How? Is, what did they say about you, a 48-year-old man taking you to, to decision? I was fighting one of the greatest fighters of all time. Were you smitten? Be honest. I was, excuse me? Smitten. You know what that word means? No. No, no I don't get smitten. I don't get smitten. You were smitten, huh? You got smitten. That <laughs> never. You got smitten that day when I... <laughs> never been smitten. When that boy was pouring that juice in your mouth. But go ahead. <laughs> that was smitten. I guess that's what smitten, smitten means. But go ahead, go ahead. Oh, you ain't never heard the word smitten. I heard it, but go ahead. What you trying to say? I was smitten for Gail King. King. How about you that? You was fanboying. <laughs> you didn't want to, you didn't want to, you didn't want to, like... Oh, no, no, no. He was, a, he was an amazing fighter. He's one of the greatest of all times. Like, I, it, to be in a ring with him, it was crazy. His presence, you know what I mean? His jab, everything was like, damn, you know what I mean? So you was smitten. Let's like, be honest. Nah, I don't know. He was like one of your, your greats? Yeah, he was one of he was one of the greats, yeah. So one of your favorites, so you were taking it easy on him a little bit? Not at all. I was trying to survive and not get killed by George Foley. He was beating everybody, and he was, you know. He, he was, was still hit, powerful at that time. Hitting hard, hitting hard. I couldn't believe he hit me so hard, champ. Because <coughs> Foreman was rough. Yeah. He gave you vertigo? Yeah, he gave me vertigo. He was hitting hard, boy. He was hitting hard, for real. And he was still fast? Because you were uh, so young, you were still pretty, I mean, you were, your movement, everything, I watched I watched some highlights. I mean, it's not like you were, like, you were in your prime. Uh, I was okay. I, I did, I did, I got in pretty good shit for that fight. I was training with Tom Shaw, football coach. Yeah. At the time, he got me in great shit for that fight. Yeah, you looked insane. Like, you're, you know, so I don't know how. But you know what? My mom had just died. Knocking people out. My mom had just died. So, like, uh, Buster uh, Douglas, guy, I got serious. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know. Right before that training camp? Yeah, like, right before my mom had died. So, I was like, you know what? Got I got to witness my mom some shit. And did you have to train differently, mm -hmm. th thinking you were gonna fight a guy like that? Like I, I'm not gonna say smitten, but were you like? But did it kind of, you know, make you a little bit more nervous than usual? Oh yeah, that's what I like. I like Beat George I, Foreman. You know, I'm in a position where I'm in a situation where I can see the fighter, and I'm like, yo, okay. Like I just came to see him. Now I know you get serious. When I seen George, I was like, yo, this is a big fight. I get right. You know what I mean? So, Where'd you see him at? Uh, press conference. Yeah. Did like, you? The, like the next time you see me at the press conference for the fight, you go. You, it's, I'm gonna look totally different. I hope so. You gonna tell Bear? I hope you got that beard. You gonna tell Bear? Hey, yo, Bear, find find a way so we can get out of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never back down for no fight. You say, hey, find a way we can get out of this shit, man. We, I don't, I don't mess around. Look at him. Hey, hey, hey shit. I'm gonna walk out to that song. Um, um, by by what's his name? Bone. By what's his name? Bone Crusher. Oh yeah. I ain't never yeah, scared. I, ain't never, I remember I ain't that. Never scared. That's a good song. Mm. That's what you need. Which one? Coming out to. Uh, <laughs> What's that shit called? Another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, yeah, do, I like that. I like that song. I tell you what, do, I, do, that do, do, do. Walk out I remember that. If um, people didn't say I, I covered up the junkyard dog, because a lot of MMA fans think that I saw that chain because I covered up the, uh, the the junkyard dog, but it's not true. When I when I first started wrestling, I, I was late. I, I, I changed my life at seventeen. Mm -hmm. I was a street punk and you smoke a lot of weed and do a whole lot of other stuff, and then I started wrestling. And by the time I changed Junkie my life, dog was hell, old, boy. Ninth grade, like all my friends were going to prison and dying and stuff. And man, I, I, I want something different. So I wanted to be a pro wrestler. That's something, boy. <clears throat> the junkyard dog was hell, boy. Yeah. That'd be something. And I can see, because uh, what's name said he wanted to be a wrestler, too. Because uh, Briggs is like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, I can see him getting in there. And um, what's the other dude? Um, Bob Sapp. If he if he got into wrestling, I said the Bob Sapp got into wrestling, that would have been something serious. <clears throat> and then he had the other guys want to be M uh, MMA if, uh, because if he was younger, Kurt Angle and uh, Van Dam, they could have got in there, or even Goldberg. That would have been um, that would have been something serious. <clears throat> 